Hey there, it's Sydney with Tastefully Frugal, and in today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to make full wrap designs for sublimation tumblers in Canva. Canva is one of my favorite free design tools to use. There are so many design possibilities and they have a lot of elements inside Canva that you can use. Um, you can also upload your own images as well. So in today's tutorial, I am going to use all the um, images and um, fonts, things like that, that are in Canva itself. So a lot of what I'm using um, does require a Canva Pro account, which I'll explain more in the video, but you can totally make these Tumblr wraps with the free Canva account. Um, you'll just wanna make sure that you use free images or you can upload your own images um, and use those as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here is your home screen on Canva and we are going to go and click this custom size button. You want to change the units of measurements that automatically defaults to pixels, but change that to inches and we'll do 9.3 wide by 8.2 high. That is the best size for the 20 ounce skinny tumblers. And then this will open up a new window with your blank canvas that is that size. So click elements. And we are going to search just a super trendy um, design, Rainbow Leopard. So just search Rainbow Leopard up top. And as you can see, there are so many different design options, but let's go ahead and pick this one here just to give you an idea of how it works. So you'll just drag that over to your canvas. And as you can see here, if you wanted to do this design, it would be a seamless design because the edges, if you were to wrap it around, match up. The only thing that would be different would be a little bit of those colors. Also something really cool, if you like this design but want it a little bit different, um, this magic recommendation tool I'll show you in just a minute is really cool. Um, but let's search something else. Let's search if we want a different background. So you can search any style, like we're searching boho background here, and this will show a bunch of different background images. So let's say you wanted this cute little rainbow one. It also um, is a seamless design, so you could do this. And if this is all you wanted and um, you didn't want to add any extra elements, just go ahead and click the share button in the top right corner, um, click download. And then you want to make sure that you set this as a ping or PNG file and select the transparent background and just click download to download it to comp your computer. But we're not stopping there. I want to go over a few things with you. This design is a pro design. So you have to have a Canva pro account. Um, there are plenty of designs that don't have the little crown on there. They're free and you can use those with any um, account. I'll talk more about Canva pro here um, at the end of the video but I just wanted to show you those differences and that's what the little crown means. Let's go ahead and make a custom um, start to finish design. We're gonna start with our text and we're just going to make a Tumblr for mama. So I just typed mama in and now I'm going to select my fonts. So you can add uh, your own uploaded fonts here. If you have fonts that you use for your brand, you can upload them here and then they have a ton of different fonts. So we'll just go through um, and just kind of pick fonts and see what they look like. That's my biggest tip when you're working with Canva is just because there are so many options, just kind of go through several uh, different fonts, different designs and see what you like best. But we'll go ahead and go with this London font. We'll make it a little bit bigger and then we will center it in our design. Um, the little, the pink lines um, on Canva show you if it's centered, um, centered to the left, centered to the right. So those are helpful. But now we're back in elements and I'm going to search gold frame. That way I have a frame to put around our text. Now you see some images here have movements. These you can use if you were doing like a uh, digital design for your computer, but anything that has movement to it, you don't want to use that for something you're going to print. Um, so let's just go ahead and select this frame. You'll just drag it over to our canvas and just resize it around um, the mama. And again, you'll see here that the uh, pink lines show up to show you with it, if it's centered to your text as well as to the design itself. Let's go ahead and add some other pieces to it. So I'm going to just search uh, boho aesthetic, which I've searched for before. Um, and we'll go through and find some designs to add to our um, Tumblr design again. Don't pick the ones that have motion or movement to them. Let's go ahead and I like this one here. So let's select this one. We're just gonna click it and drag it over to our canvas. So we'll drag it here. We'll just put it up here and we'll size it down so it's not too big. 
And then let's take a look at this magic recommendations. What this shows you is it shows you designs that are similar to the design you use. So this is really helpful when you are creating um, a wrap design like this, or it doesn't have to be a Tumblr design, but if you want to create a design that has similar elements, they're going to show up um, similar colors, similar styles, things like that. So it's really easy um, to use that magic recommendations tool to find a cohesive design, lots of different pieces that go together. So as you can see, there are tons of options here. Let me show you something really cool that you can do um, with these designs too. You'll see this design here. Up at the top, it allows you, so this design that's in the corner up at the top, it allows you to change the color on the designs. So you can make your own custom colors, um, which we're doing here. If you want, like, let's say you have your brand colors that you want to, or colors that you've used in the past that you like, you can choose that, but you can change all of these colors. You can change one of them. You can change all of them. And it remembers these color settings. So once you have these colors in, it will um, save it for this document's color setting. So if you created another design, these colors wouldn't save unless you set, saved them as a brand color. But for this design that we're working on, it's going to save those. So I'll show you here in just a bit too. Um, but you'll be able to use those colors and put them on other elements. I decided to not go with the pink design. I just wanted to show you how to do that. So we're, uh, I have my designs here on the canvas. You do want to make sure that you don't have them uh, cut off on the side like I just showed you because it won't be a seamless design. So just make sure to stay away from the corners. Um, and we're just going to play around with designs. This is literally the hardest part with designing on Canva is just picking how you want your designs to look because there's so many options. So now we are going to just, I just did a different search for boho just to see what other um, colors and designs um, show up. So you can have different shapes here. And as you can see, you can change those shapes. Here's another one that you can change the color on. Not every element in Canva, you can change the color. Some of them are set to what they are, um, but you can change them. Some of them you can change. Now that we have some colors on our screen that we like, let's go ahead and change our font. Um, you can change the font color. You can also add effects to your font. So you can add like blurs, you can slice your font, you can make it neon. Some of these work um, well if you're doing prints, some of them don't. So just play around to see what you would like. You could also change how intense the effect is if you want it to really stand out more, if you want it to be more subtle, you can change that. Um, and then we'll just go back and we'll change this to a darker color. And now we have our name that stands out more, but it matches perfectly color wise with the other elements on our design. So let's go ahead and just add some more pieces. Again, this is really just going through Canva and finding pieces that you like um, that fit well together. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Let me show you another uh, neat feature here with this uh, on Canva, what you can do. If you have a design that you want, like this design we put on there um, and we want to send it to the back, just click this position button and you can send it forward or send it back. And that way you have the more prominent design that stands out here. Didn't end up going with that design. Um, so it's, it's really just playing around with designs, picking things you like, picking things you don't like. This video is sped up quite a bit as you can tell. So to do this whole design, it took me about 25 minutes um, and we're doing it all in about five minutes here. So don't worry if it seems like it's taking a long time. Um, you get better with it as you go. So I'm just showing you all the different elements here that you can use, um, going through the different styles. Um, we're really just going with keeping with the boho aesthetic, but I'll show you a few other things too. If you click the three buttons on here, it gives you things that um, for your design that you can search for the keywords, but you can also click on the designer's name, which is really useful if you feel like you're stuck and you can't find a design you like uh, or like parts of your design you like. You can find some um, designs that this artist uh, did that may match up, may not. As you can see, this artist here has a variety of different designs, but I was able to find a shape that I really liked. And then I also paired it here, you'll see in just a second, um, with this heart design, which was not really a boho aesthetic, but it worked out really, really well. So we're just going to go ahead and um, now we are going to search boho shapes. Shapes is a really helpful tool or word to search. Um, if you have a style that you're looking for, you just need some of those filler pieces. 
monstera leaves are also really trendy so i looked that up and we're just going to change the colors here as we go um and we are going to let's see move this one around we can also flip our design so if you wanted to flip it horizontally so that or vertically so that it lines up better you can do that too there's a ton of different design elements um, available but that's it once you're happy with your down design just again go to share download um, and then just save your design on your computer and then you can print it from Word or Photoshop or whatever print program you use to print your designs on. The hardest part of making these Tumblr wrap designs in Canva is deciding what images you want to use. It's really easy if you just pick a full wrap image like I showed you in the beginning of the tutorial, but if you want to piece together a design like we did for this Mama Cup, um, it, there's a lot of options and it's not hard, it's just hard to pick what you'd like. So if you want to make this Mama Tumblr, I have linked the Canva design in the description of this video. So you can grab that design, whether you have a Canva Pro account or not, um, and you can make your own tumblers with this design. Um, but that is one more thing that I wanted to talk about before we end the video quickly, is what you can do with the designs, um, what, what permissions come with the designs on Canva. So anything that you create with Canva, whether you use your own uploaded images or pro images, you can use those for products you sell. So you can make tumblers, you can make shirts, you can make whatever you want um, with any of the images in Canva Pro's um, or your uploaded images on Canva. However, if you want to sell the designs themselves that you make with Canva, if you're using your own uploaded images, that is totally fine. You can upload like your own clip art, your own pictures, things like that, create the templates in Canva and sell those. However, if there are any Canva Pro images, so the ones that have the little crown on them, you cannot sell those digital files from Canva. If you're using free images from Canva, you can sell those. Um, I reached out to Canva just to clarify that and they did say that there is one workaround around that. If you have like an Etsy shop um, or a Shopify website, WooCommerce, things like that, what you can do is you can sell the file, but you don't sell the file. So sell the design, but then link them just like I put the link to the Canva um, design for the mama, the mama wrap you can link that in like the uh, checkout, not the checkout instructions, but after they purchase it, just instead of having a SVG file or a zip file, just have like a Word doc or PDF with a clickable link to Canva, and then they can download their purchase there. But um, just so that you're aware, you cannot sell any images, um, any designs that have Canva Pro images in them, Anything with the free designs, or like I said, your own uploaded, uploaded designs, you can sell those digital files. And anything that you make with the digital files, Tumblr, shirts, puzzles, whatever it is, you can sell those. That is not a problem at all. But I really love Canva. Um, I know for some people, they're just, uh, they're like, it's just another investment. And it is. It is uh, $12.99 a month currently as of filming time but it is absolutely worth it with all the templates templates that are available for social media posts. Um, you can do eBooks. You can even create a website if you wanted to collect like email addresses or things like that for your business. Um, there are a lot of design options. You can add in your brand kit so you can add your logo, your brand colors, your fonts, and it allows you to easily customize these templates as well. So I'm a big fan of Canva for any small business owner and you can use it as a write off as well. So, I hope I answered any questions that you had about using Canva to create Tumblr wraps. If you have any questions that I didn't answer, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I also have some more videos linked in the description of this video um, for making sublimation tumblers, a few other ways that you can uh, modify your designs, um, and some other fun sub sublimation videos as well. But if you enjoyed this video, I would love to have you give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to Tastefully Frugal for more Cricut and sublimation design tips, tricks, and tutorials. Have a great day.